What is up, YouTube? It's Guy and Gold here, and I was playing a little bit of uh, Isaac, trying to truck out the greed stuff again, and uh, kind of happened upon this broken run. So, uh, if you guys don't know what a broken run is, I, uh, I advise you go check out Huts. Uh, he does a lot of things with broken runs to the point of absurdity. Um, I, in this case, am probably not going to spend a whole ton of time on, time on it because, again, our goal here is to gonna be to get to uh, doing the loss with the holy mantle so again not gonna be super kind of picky basically how this happened if uh, if you don't know um, you can pretty hardcore oh I don't want that so let's take that let's drop it in here um you can pretty hardcore break greed mode fairly easily if, uh, oh, two of diamonds. That's, oh, no, come here. Come here. That one's, that's pretty good, too, though, so let's put that up. Um, you can pretty easily break greed mode because it's guaranteed to drop, um, guaranteed to drop coins every time you basically do, uh, a room, right? Um, and so basically if the D20 or Yara and Blank card ever pop up, because you can also re-roll, uh, the shop with the re-roll machines, it makes it pretty easy to break the game. Um, and I guess so you guys don't have to go and look at something else. Breaking the game is just when things get absurd to the point that you could, could potentially, uh, crash the game. So this is basically how you do it. You come in here. Like I was doing, you open up all the chests, you re-roll it, it re-rolls into more chests. What is this? A Yara. I already have a Yara, so let's just pop that. Um, you re-roll it into, into more chests. Uh, when you're opening the chests, the chests will spawn multiple items. Two of clubs, two of clubs, two of spades, two of spades. Um, and then you keep repeating this until you have an absurd amount of items. Um, at first, you have to be pretty careful when you're opening up the chest. So make sure that you're not, like, running into, like, consumables accidentally. So if you end up running into consumables, um, basically you are destroying uh, any progress that you're making, right? Uh, because at first, especially, especially if you have low luck. Oh, uh, we've already been in here, though. Um, especially if you have low luck. Uh, I mean, yeah, no, we won't want to his head in the long run. Um, this, oh my gosh, popped out another era. Um, oh, uh, help me. Um, if you're picking up items, especially at the first point, when you don't have a lot of luck, you don't have a lot of, you know, this, that, and the other, um, it makes gaining ground on opening the chests fairly difficult, right? Whoops. I uh, lost that eternal heart. Dang. Um, this is kind of the key. Oh, how do I do this? Okay, um, let's go into the shop. Start buying items until we get a space bar that's useless like this one. Let me take this. We replace that out here with the D20. Um, so if you guys haven't, when I first started doing Isaac, I, I first, very first, decided that I was going to do um, run breaks because I saw Huts doing them, and kind of, that's horrible, that's pretty bad. I don't know what that guy does there. Uh, Hero Flies is pretty okay. Uh, I first saw Huts doing it, I was like, that's kind of cool because... You have to really think about the game. Oh, nod leaf. Um, you have to really think about the game at a deeper level than you usually would just running through it on any normal kind of day, right? You have to think about what's going to destroy it. Even when you're in the middle of a broken run, um, you can absolutely, like, destroy the run um, by, like, something as simple as running out of money, right? Because especially in greed mode, right, you need to buy batteries. If you essentially spend all of your money and run out of money to buy batteries with, right, um, 
it means that you're not going to be able to do what you need to do with the run, right? Bring all those. We'll take this. Uh, yeah, we'll take tech two. Um, uh, we'll take money equals power. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know what that does, so I'm just gonna not take it. But I like having you kind of think about the game in a in a more serious manner. I think it makes you a better player because then you you realize um, how to kind of maximize usage of things, right? Oh, sack of pennies. You know, ah, uh, no, I'm not gonna take that. That's I don't know. That's not really worth it. How to jump? Cluster bombs, sure. I don't know. Honestly, at this point, probably what we should be doing is uh, getting 99 cents. I I have my uh, kind of end game break already. I'm trying to see if I can get a little bit more damage. Get get it stacked to the point that I don't lose anything. Um, so I could just go down and beat greed 100% without any issues. Um, let's see. Let's just, let's just go. One of the problematic things with this is I'm going to clear a path to the exit. Kind of trying to uh, get everything out of the way. There's actually two of diamonds there, which is what I need. Take the blank card. We'll charge it. We have the tick. That's actually useful. Uh, two of diamonds. Okay. Useful in the fact of accidentally, you know, like, if you're picking up trinkets every two seconds. Okay, we have... You know what we should really do? We should really go and try to see if we can pick up a battery charge item. Uh, and let's see where I had... Okay, here it is. So especially with uh, two of diamonds is... Two uh, of diamonds. If you start with the D20 trick, the two of diamonds ends up being pretty useful uh, because you can double your money, right? So if you get up to 99 cents, that should be spun, no? If you get up to 99 cents, uh, basically you can guarantee yourself that you will never run out of money. And especially even if you, uh, that was pretty good. Even if you end up running down below nine, uh, 50 cents, um, it's not... It's not bad. It's not run ending. It's uh, like that. It just means that you have to pick up two batteries before you end up uh, getting more stuff. A good good practice that I kind of found out the hard way is uh, to always make sure that you have a battery charge on two of diamonds. Ooh, see, I picked up something else. Bad gas. So let's get rid of that. Two of diamonds back up to 99 cents. Pick that up again. Um, because if you get to the point where you're having issues buying a battery, um, that usually means that the the run is kind of done. Unless you already have a battery charge, right? So if I was at four cents, use the two of diamonds, I would then be at eight, which point I could buy a battery at three, and so it's just gonna go downhill. So even when you do that, it still kind of means that you have to be pretty careful about making sure you're using uh, your two of diamonds at the right time. But even so, it's not a huge deal if you miss. You just have to kind of think through it a little bit, I guess. Anyway, I, I've been trying to start out my videos like this. Um, if you guys end up making it to the end of the video, uh, if you could do me a favor and just go down there and tell me why you like the video. Um, if you guys end up not making it to the end of the video and deciding to, to leave early, that's fine. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make you guys stay or anything like that. Not that I could. Um, but if you could also just, before you leave, just tell me why you end up deciding to leave, right? Um, it'd do me a big deal, you know, if it's me, if I'm talking too much and you guys don't like that and I can just shut up and play the game, I'm a-okay with that. Um, I think that, at least when I'm watching YouTubers, is there a pedestal out here that I could... Yeah, okay. Okay, 
Blank card's not in here. Ooh, I like chaos. I do. But chaos tends to fuck things up in terms of the item pool. We'll take this. Because when we start breakfasting... Breakfast in the game as well, if you don't know, um, is when you are. Well, we have we have a ton of stuff in there, so we don't need to worry too much about it. Um, stigmata, sure. Uh, let's go out. Oh, I was gonna say we fucked up. Two of diamonds. Um, breakfast in the game is when you have rolled through all of the items that are in the game whether you take them or not you've seen every single item Ooh, i don't think that does it does that do anything with mom's knife no i don't think it does Ooh, is that is that ludo i don't think that does anything yo it makes us a little knife that's cool can we still now that's good though i actually i'm really not a big fan of using mom's knife um i do it because I kind of have to, but uh, really not the hugest fan of actually like charging it up to use it. Okay, uh, D4, no, uh, this we take, quicker charges. Actually, you know what, I honestly, I already think that we got what we needed, because look, we have two of diamonds. We can go in here, charge it up twice, two use it. Of diamonds. Buy a battery, and then be careful about leaving so we don't pick up anything else. Let's try to get some coins, maybe. That wouldn't be too atrocious. Let's let's go and pick up spirit hearts too. And we very much need to remember to pick up two of diamonds again. Where's all of our spirit hearts? There they are. There they are up here. What the hell? Okay, that's good enough. Walnut. Uh, what is this one? What makes you smaller? Sure, okay. Now let's get the fuck out of here before we ruin something. Okay. do this yeah so this should actually end up being pretty good uh, one because we're stacked as fuck and then two because we can just take this knife and just sit it right on top of his face the entire time I'm not even gonna care about keys we're just going to uh... Yeah, see, honestly, I I probably should have re-rolled this. Oh, God, I have no idea what's going on there. Cluster oh, Curse the Tower. Uh, maybe the battery thing is giving us extra effects? Because this is, this is absolutely... I don't think we'll be able to don all, donate all this, by the way. I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure our... Oh, my gosh, Curse the Tower. This is going nuts right now. Jesus Christ. We have the lasers, like, fuck the knife. Just kill him with the goddamn lasers. Get in there, knife. Get in there, knife. I can't, I can't even see what's going on. Honestly, yeah, the Super Meat Boys are doing more than the goddamn knife is. When we got, we dropped a battery, too. Did we pick up glitter bombs? We must have picked up glitter bombs. Okay. So. If you're interested, this is how you end up stacking the greed machine, like, really easily. Um, and you can honestly get 999 coins pretty quickly. It broke that quick? Are you joking me? We were at 1% chance, and it broke in, like, 10 coins. Oh, my God. I don't, like, we can't even, uh, we can't even do anything about that. Yeah, so we had two charges on that, so that would have given us each, um, 
50 coins. This would have given us another 50 coins. That would have given us 50 coins. And then we could have donated another 50 coins. So we had the two blank card charges, the battery, the card, and then another 100 coins. So we had 300 coins that we could have donated there. Um, one of the first runs that I really broke the game like that. Um, I got like 250 coins into the machine. So that's not inconsequential. Um, but it's also not like, you know, it's not getting 999 in on one run, right? That would be nuts. Um, honestly, it didn't end up mattering, but, um, thinking back about it, what I could have done is I think I could have actually carried two things because I picked up, uh, like, uh, wh whatever item gives you multiple cards, right? So I could have picked up two of diamonds and the Yara, and then... Hoped, so I got that battery by happenstance, I guess. I don't even know what it came from. Um, but got the battery. Picked up everything and used everything in the room besides the battery. Yared twice. The first one give me two batteries, and the second one would give me uh, four batteries. Pick one up, reroll, and so make a whole room full of batteries. And then use the batteries to keep funding the the uh, greed machine until it breaks. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> it took us only like 10 coins to break it, but oh well. It is what it is. I uh, hope you guys join me for the next one again. If you, uh, if you are still here, please, please, please go down and comment uh, what you liked, what's still, what you're uh, still doing here. But uh, have a good one, you guys, and hopefully I'll see you next time.